It's a quiet morning in the tiny English village of Minea. The people of Minea take great pride in their village and work each day to keep up the age-old beauty of their farming community. With very few exceptions, the village looks just as it did hundreds of years ago. So what are all these people staring at? Why, it's David Barnes going for a drive in the new car his father built for him. With the cost of fuel in Britain being more than $3.50 a gallon, it's no wonder that Philip Barnes gave up this 200 horsepower gas guzzler for this one horsepower hay burner. When I was um, mending the children's bicycles um, one summer, uh, I was looking across the paddock and it just sort of uh, came to me rather unexpectedly. I wonder how fast the ponies could go if they could run a bicycle. The horsicle you see here is the third version Philip Barnes has built. The first one worked just like a bicycle. The pony actually had to have his feet on the pedals, but this presented a problem. I found it difficult to train the pony to rotate its feet in a circular motion. So that was totally abandoned. In Philip Barnes' second attempt, the pony walked on a plate conveyor, just like the conveyors used in supermarket checkout lines. But he made one mistake. He built it too narrow. So when it tried to turn a corner against the will of the driver, it would put its left foot on the right-hand side of the plate conveyor, and then there wasn't room for its right foot to come round. So take a good look at the latest in horsicles. Sleek design, four on the floor, tight gear ratio, and it boasts a powerful one pony power engine. But there are still some problems to be worked out. Because he's used to pulling a cart, Pally the pony often won't go unless he sees a familiar face behind him. And Pally still finds making turns while walking straight somewhat disconcerting. So far, the longest trip Pally has taken is about three miles. Any longer and he gets temperamental. The car is also hard to start on cold mornings. Until Pally has had his morning cup of water and a handful of hay, he isn't worth anything. Philip not only saves on gas, he also beats the license and road tax required of British cars. The village policeman allows Pally to drive around town without a license plate because no one is quite sure if this is a horse-drawn vehicle or a real automobile. Until the authorities decide, we decided to give Pally a license of our own because you asked for it. 